What's up guys, this is Kenska from KenskaArt.com, author and illustrator for Manga for Dummies and Trigger Drawing for Dummies. Today I'm going to show you how to import brushes into your Clip Studio Paint program. Uh, there are different ways of doing it. Uh, I happen to find the one that works best for me is having two separate screens, henceforth I on the right. I have my trusty worthy Cintiq, on the left I have my trusty worthy MacBook Pro. Um, so the brush that I really enjoy using, and I'm so excited, they just updated the, the, the brush set. It's called the Dow Brushes, D-A-U-B, Brushes. Now they've been around for quite a while, but once I get once in a while, I get like an updated email saying that uh, there are more uh, additional brushes, and there are many brushes that have been added to the set. And I'm always excited to download it and get my hands on it and try some new, um, some, uh, some new brushes that he, he has created. So before I continue, please, if this is your first time visiting, thank you so much for dropping by. Be sure to click the hit the like subscribe button so you won't miss a beat. And here we go. So for starters, I'm going to make sure my Clip Studio Paint is open and I have my tool set right here, my brushes, where I want to import my brush set. Um, the, one, the one I want to import today is called uh, Washes. And it has a series of really beautiful options here. I want to show you quickly here. Sorry for the pixelation, I'm using my phone. But what uh, Dow Brushes has done is they've given you a little taste of what to expect, as long, along with new textures and techniques that you can use to create different kinds of effects. Um, I like it, it's fantastic. Uh, and there are many, many, many um, effects that you can create. Of course, this is all in grayscale, but you can do it in color, obviously. That's the, that's the strength of working with with um, with so many wonderful uh, 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 color sets. Uh, sorry, that didn't make any sense, but you get the idea. <laughs> Here we go. Make sure this is open. Oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. First, I want to make sure you selected the brushes that you want to import. Um, I would strongly recommend it uh, select all these first. Okay, once that's done, I gotta click back on the program first. Make sure that palette is available. I'm gonna back, go back here. And while clicking, I'm gonna drag, and you see this little uh, 16, which is, shows the number of brushes I'm dragging, all the way onto Oops, what happened? Let me try that again, sorry guys. Somehow I lost my palette. Okay, all right, so a little disclaimer. Once you click on this one, I'm sorry, uh, you do not want to click on the desktop uh, icon again. You can, it's, 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 it's currently grayed out because once you click on it here, you notice this palette disappears. So you don't want that, because otherwise you can't drag it into the palette. It's, it's not visible. So I'm gonna go ahead and click um, the interface again so it appears. And without clicking on the top of this menu icon, go ahead, drag. That's not letting me drag. Drag, there you go. <laughs> All the way till you see into this brush palette and let go. And you get the little happy dance. And voila, we have all 16 new awesome brushes. Pretty neat. Um, so again, sorry about that. I made a little, I forgot to, forgot that little slip up with the uh, not clicking, not clicking the, the desktop icon right here. My bad, but you get the idea. It's really fantastic. You can, of course, go ahead here and add. Uh, I'm sorry, import subtool right here. But I find like having to make the extra step of for every single brush that you do is kind of tedious. I'd rather had go ahead and grab what I want and dump it when I in one one single swoop. So let me know if this has helped, guys. I know it's a, it's a little bit of a uh, quirky thing working in two double screens, but I find it to be the most effective way. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And always work when we're working with digital, Jesus saves, so should you. And until then, Christ's peace. Bye.